heading into our second session, which is about nature-based solutions. And I'm going to welcome to the stage uh, Greg Brill from the Pacific Institute, who's going to set the scene. Oh, he's online, yes, he's joining. Yeah, oh, it's pre-recorded. These multi-benefit green okay. solutions Thank often you. come with a lower price tag than investing in traditional engineered or grey solutions, and oftentimes have higher returns in investment based and because of the stacked benefits that come with these solutions. And the benefits keep on coming, increasing with time and the spatial extent across which these nature-based solutions are implemented. <clears throat> Nature-based solutions can be implemented almost anywhere. So whether you're wanting to reduce erosion and flood risks in a grassland, sequester carbon and improve air quality by planting forests, improve water quality and quantity, as well as bringing back the birds, the bees and the beasts using wetlands, limit storm surges and reduce coastal flooding or mitigate sea level rise using mangroves, or renature a city to reduce urban heat islands and capture storm water. Whatever challenge you want to address, and wherever you want to address this, nature-based solutions can provide a helping hand. By 2050, almost 70% of the world's population will live in cities. This means that we had better get down to business in solving many of the issues that come with living in cities, including addressing localised flooding due to the amount of hard surfaces, reducing heat island effects, and improving air, soil and water quality for both nature and humans living in these urban environments. Nature-based solutions in cities can provide multiple benefits, including slowing down and retaining stormwater in bioswales and rainwater gardens, reducing heat island effects, creating a more comfortable microclimate, improving soil water infiltration and recharging the groundwater, reducing the need for expensive stormwater removal systems, improving air quality and increasing habitat and biodiversity as well as reducing the need for heating and cooling with the use of green roofs and vertical gardens. Hopefully, green will soon become the new... ...grey when it comes to designing, building and retrofitting cities. Nature-based solutions also work outside of cities. Instead of building another dam in a sensitive watershed to increase long-term water resilience, rather consider restoring, managing and protecting wetlands and rivers which store, treat and transport water far more efficiently and effectively. Clean up catchments by removing alien vegetation and restoring native plant species and replace channelized urban waterways with softer systems which are self-regulating and provide multiple goods and services. Nature-based solutions are also critical mechanisms to address the sustainable development goals. Specifically, NBS support the SDG numbers 3, 6, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 17. I'm pretty sure that a dam would need to be able that I'm pretty sure that a dam would not be able to tick off as many of these boxes. But where do we start? There is a wealth of information out there in both the popular and academic literature that can support you on your NBS journey. Many of these resources will show you the kinds of NBS projects that are available to address some of the societal challenges we face today. Some provide guidance on how to design and implement NBS across different habitats, while others speak to how to get funding and finance for NBS. My organization, the Pacific Institute, is currently developing a guide and method to identify and quantify the benefits from investing in NBS across multiple habitats. More information on this project will be shared in a later session. Nature-based solutions may not be the silver bullet to all of the societal challenges we face today. Rather, these solutions are part of a toolkit that will help us address the challenges we face and help build long-term resilience now and in the future. We need to start somewhere, so let's all add NBS to our policies, projects and programs. This way, NBS can maybe be the green bullet we need. Thank you.